happening now, an alleged attack at a local bar, and there are claims tonight it was racially motivated. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Sheldon Ingram joins us in Avalon. Sheldon, only on 4 you spoke to the victim. The alleged attackers are part of a well-known white nationalist group. Yes, that's exactly what we're hearing. That's also what's inside of this report that was filed by the Avalon Police Department. And as you say, we hear the same thing from the victim who says that he was beaten inside of the Jackman Inn. I just wanted this story to be heard. Paul Moore Sr. says he was the target of the hate crime. He talked with Pittsburgh's Action News 4 about the July 7th incident via FaceTime from California. After entering Jackman Inn, he says he was the target of racial slurs first and then beaten by at least eight people. I said, you know, who are you? And then they, they responded, we are here to eradicate the earth of <laughs> one by one. I do feel like a victim of a hate crime, but I just chalk it up as ignorance because I don't want to think like that. The bar manager says at least 10 people witnessed the attack. How many people jumped on you? Like eight to 10. Men and women? Men and women. They all had the same story? Yes. That this was a racially motivated attack? Yes. In addition to knowing of them, um, I know of the group. The Avalon Police Report says some of the attackers were identified as members of a well-known white nationalist group called Keystone Skinheads. The Southern Poverty Law Center says the group formed in 2009 and is one of the largest single state racist groups in the country. Oh, it's horrible. Uh, I've been around here for going on 20 years. Uh, we never really had an incident like this. If there's any potential hate crimes or, or something in that nature, then these individuals are going to be appropriately charged. We have to fight against people like this and let them know that we're, they're not welcome in our communities. And the Avalon police chief tells us that charges from this attack will likely be filed this week. Reporting live from Avalon, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.